All right, thank you very much. No, really, I appreciate that. I know why you're excited. We're back on the air. It's a new year. It's a leap year. Did you know that? It's a leap year. We get one extra day. I thought, I heard that, and I thought, oh, that's great. And then I remembered, oh, one more day of Trump versus Biden. Fuck no. Uh, <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, I guess that that race is kind of over. Uh, Trump won big in Iowa. They had the Iowa caucuses. They had it on Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what better way to honor Martin Luther King than the whitest state in the nation voting for a guy who's going to take you back to the 1950s? That, that, this is... Well, I mean... <laughs> come on. Well, you saw... Uh, Nikki Haley came in third. Uh, you heard what... Sir, what <laughs> she's, she's a history buff, Nikki. Uh, <laughs> she said this has never been a racist country. Never? <laughs> I mean, we can argue... Uh, never, really. I mean, this is someone who goes by Nikki, uh, <laughs> because she, if she used her real name, no one in her party would vote for her. But it's not. Uh, and uh, the other uh, Indian American in the race, Vivek Ramaswamy, he dropped out, uh, dropped out of the race, and admitted he is Sasha Baron Cohen. So that's, <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> Right, he was the uh, he was the youngest candidate at, at 38. Now it's uh, it's going to be you know 82 versus 78, the oldest the oldest combined number of years we've ever had running. Uh, although Trump was bragging this week, he said he feels like a 35 year old. He's, he said this. Uh, <laughs> he owes it to his fitness routine. Uh, <laughs> really. He says every morning he does a hundred brain farts. 